So we're encouraging Christian Aid supporters to get in touch with their members of parliament and with their church leaders and to encourage them to come to the bus when it's nearest to them. Um, and the more members of parliament, the more church leaders we can get on the bus, the better, because then they'll hear first-hand accounts from Christian Aid partners in the developing world about tax dodging and how it impacts on poor people, and also messages from Church Action on Poverty uh, volunteers and supporters from around the country about how poverty is impacting at a local level as a result of tax dodging in the UK. So the more church leaders and politicians on the bus, the better. And certainly the case with members of parliament is they're more likely to come onto the bus if they're asked by their constituent to visit the bus. So if you write to your MP saying, I see the Christian Aid bus is going to be coming into the constituency, will you please go and visit it? There's more chance of them coming to the bus than if Christian Aid just as an organisation or Church Action on Poverty were to write to them and invite them. It's the constituents who can get the MPs onto the bus. And probably the best leverage is a constituent who is a church leader to get them onto the bus. So lobbying your bishop to invite the MP or lobbying the chair of the Methodist circuit to get your MP under the bus is probably one of the most effective ways of getting the key people, the decision makers, under the tax justice bus as it goes around the country.